Hello and welcome back guys. So now that we have a test we can open like this. Uh, let's see how we can add, uh, we can put buttons for adding some questions. Now before we do that there's some few details missing here on the test itself. Uh, it's looking at, um, where is this test? I think the description is missing. So yes, description and whether it's active or not. So let's put those details into place, shall we? So we will do that on the single test view, right at the top here. I'm just going to add one more. Uh, I need another row here, and this will be, um, let's see, table row like this and then table data. Now, this one will have a column span of four. Let's put it at five just to be sure. And then here we'll put the description. So let me just copy this and put it here. Now, you definitely need to escape that description. Otherwise, uh, you may have problems. So description save like that and let's see what we've got so refresh and then this is the test description here very nice then we can also indicate whether we um, the status whether it's active or not so maybe we can give that one column here and then put the description over here so um, let's do that by duplicating this like so okay and this one column span is one so let's just remove that and um, let's add something here to determine status and we already have um, some code that we can use for this when we are viewing tests so let's look at this one right here this is the class tab tests.inc i'm just looking for that if statement i created which is this one right here so I'll copy that and uh, close this file and paste it here. That way I can use active as the, um, the variable here, though I don't need to escape it because I just created the variable. Because we know it will only have either yes or no. So no need to panic on that one. So I will refresh and there we go. Now, instead of just having that, we will, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, maybe I can put something like uh, status and do this, and yes. Oh, wait, not status, it should be active. Otherwise, it won't make any sense at all. Okay, so active, yes. And then a description here. Now, if you want in here, you can add something like uh, test description if you want, and then put a break tag like so. That way, um, there's a definite thingy here, and you can put some uh, bold tags here just so. We know this is a title, B, and then back here again, boom. Okay, so refresh. All right, so it's active and uh, the test description is down here. Very good. And then down here now, we should have uh, the questions for this test. Now, before even that, we can have a button somewhere to go to class here so that we can take ourselves to the class where this test belongs to, okay? So let's put that button somewhere. Hmm, where can we put that? We could put it right here. That's no big deal. Create it, go to class. That way it looks more organized, so let's try that where be all the buttons hmm let's see i want to just get a button from one of these tests inc 
should be one button here i'm going to copy that so copy and i've just gotten this from class tab tests inc and then come back here inside the um, where is this this is the table header and right on this row let me move this down so that we can see a little bit more of what's going on here like so and let me move these boys in here okay so this is one row here so let me add one more table data like so and then paste a button right there like this okay uh -huh. so this button is go to class or view class maybe depending on what you want there and this class is obviously a single class and then there's no add so let's remove this we have to go to the main function and then this is class id so no problem this test has a class id we know and we will remove the tab here because we don't need that so save that and let's give it a test run okay so view class now instead of um this plus sign we can use the chevron uh chevron right maybe something like this something to point to the right yeah so view class so click and i mean the class itself now i may want to go to the tests tab when i get there so maybe after all we need that tab so i'm going to do a question mark and add tab is equal to tests like that that way when we click we end up on tests so back here refresh the page and click and we are on the tests right there okay pretty cool if i get back here back here okay at least now there's a connection between the class and the test right so now that we're done with that let's add the proper view down here and the proper view is already here which is inside test tab view dot ink and what i want to do here is uh, put on let's see let me put a center and then in that center i'm going to put an h5 and say um, questions test questions something like this as a title so if i refresh i get this one right here test questions and then we can put all the questions down here now i'll need a few buttons here uh, just below this for adding uh, test questions so back here i can copy this again because i need to add some buttons so back down here let me paste just a few of these to see where we are at and how that will look so i'm just going to duplicate this three times like so and refresh okay so there we go we have uh, a few buttons here i don't know why they have a line underneath them like this probably text decoration should have been put to none uh let's see if we can do that in the header mm -hmm. where are the includes header right here for this style let's say um or a tags like this we'll say text decoration none so let's see if that will update yeah so those lines disappear everywhere so now i have these tests here and uh, these buttons sorry let me close that header and let's go back here now there are three types of questions we're going to have so there's one with uh, multiple choice so add multiple choice i think we'll leave it there because we know that uh multiple all these are questions so add multiple choice and then here we'll have add um, 
Okay, let's do this. Um, we have questions that, let me explain a little bit. We have subjective questions, and then we have objective questions, and then we have um, uh, one in the middle, because we have a subjective question is one where the student has to answer with a sentence, so it depends on their view of the world. So they can, there's no definite one answer. There can be several answers to the same questions as long as they really cover, uh, it's just to show that the student understands the question. So this is a subjective question, it's on its own. But object, objective questions are in two types. There's multiple choice, um, and then there's one word answer. So both of them are objective because there's just one answer to that question. So it's not a multiple choice. It can either be multiple choice or not. So this is what makes uh, the questions three. So this one will be add multiple choice. We know that multiple choice is subjective already. And then add, um, I don't know what we'll call this one. Let's just say objective question. And then finally, the other one is subjective. Maybe we can just put the whole thing there, question like this, and then let me copy that and paste it here. So add multiple choice question like this. So this is just singular, not plural, like this. And let me come back here and let's see what we've got after all this. So back here, refresh, and there we go. We have the buttons that we need. Uh, but now that I look at this, uh, we could do better than this because Bootstrap has some drop-down lists. In case we get too many buttons here, it won't look very nice. So let's go to our Bootstrap and let's click on drop-downs here. Okay. So let's see what nice drop downs they have. Uh, let me try this one. Wait, which one has the primary here? Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you get. Uh, all will work just fine. So let me copy this one and let's paste it down here. Let's come back here and refresh. So we have it over here. But once we click, it doesn't work. So why is that? Let's uh, edit it here and say menu, or let's just say add like this. And then we can add a class here of, uh, uh, I don't know, FA, FA plus maybe, or uh, bars maybe something like this yeah so add so that we can see that it's kind of a menu now the thing with the uh, bootstrap is these drop downs need to be inside a nav bar so let's paste that here and let's see if that works okay so nav bar still nothing well let's tell it that this is a nav bar so by adding a class of nav bar Let's see how well that works. Refresh and click. There we go. So it's working now. Now we can move these buttons over to this. So I'm just going to copy all this. So actually cut that and paste it here and add objective. We'll adjust these menus as we go, as we see fit the text on the menus themselves. And this one right here cut and let's put that one over here okay so let me delete this one here i like the divider there so let's leave that be and of course we won't need these babies up here what we will do though is get one of these links because that way we editing is better than uh, writing something from scratch so let's leave that there like so and then let's uh, delete that. So back here, let's refresh. 
test questions and then now we can add multiple choice question objective question or subjective question so here maybe we can say add multiple choice add none multiple choice question or something like that and then subjective so let me change that a little bit so come here and uh, I don't know anyway you can name these as you wish uh, it depends what language you want to use here that's entirely up to you so let me not waste time trying to figure out the correct language instead let me just uh, push these down a bit and do that as well to the list item that we we can see better what is going on uh, let me tab these in tab that that and that let's see here what's going on let's go good divider oh wait this is a divider here so let me move that in okay so so far so good i uh, will see you in the next video where we add some actual content down here